guys, I'm Christian Hart and I'm back with another video for you this week. I recently just got a Mamiya C220 for my birthday, which is a twin lens reflex camera, also known as a TLR. Uh, and I was just really excited to get to use it. My parents got it for me and so um, my wife and I decided to just one day go out in the backyard and just make some portraits of her. Um, and that was really fun. Uh, I was really excited to do that. I used Portra 400 and uh, we kind of just walked around and uh, made some photos. Yeah, so if you want to kind of like prop your legs up. That's cute. Let me get a, a light reading on you. All right, so we're shooting this at F4 at 500th of a second. Three, two, one. Sweet. Let's go into another spot. So if you want to kind of lean against the wall. And will you like kind of play with your hair? Yeah, I do. We also uh, went to a nearby neighborhood that our friends live in and just kind of walked around uh, and I just made some photos of some houses. Probably my favorite was of this basketball goal. I also used Portrait 400 there too. And here's just some more photos for you guys to look at. things to know about the Mamiya C220 is it is 6x6 format, so it's square shaped, uh, and so everything is going to be a square that you make. And so you have to be aware of that when you're framing. Um, and so I personally like centering things in my photos, so it was really easy for me to like frame the things I wanted, kind of fit everything into this one little square picture, um, and then what I wanted kind of the photo to say. And so. And so yeah, I didn't really have a problem with the 6x6 format. Uh, the waist level viewfinder is definitely something to get used to. Uh, it's inverted, so everything is so just kind of, for me, that's used to an eye level viewfinder without a whack, it feels different. Um, but I'm excited to learn and use it and get used to it. And so it's one of those things that uh, I'm just along for the ride with. I did recently order an eye level viewfinder for it just because I love the look uh, of square and then of just what this lens gets me and I want to be able to still make portraits and different things with it but I also don't want that to like use it as a crutch. The lens I have on here it's not the blue dot uh, it's the black dot so I guess that's the older uh, kind of black sheep of the lens but um, it can stop down to 2.8 or go all the way up to 32 it go, uh, the shutter speeds are from bulb to 500 of a second. It has interchangeable lenses on this body, so that's really neat. Uh, and then the bellows is really, uh, is all really great in shape for mine. But as you extend, something to note about uh, the bellows is that you do have to kind of, kind of take into consideration the further the lens gets away from the film, you will have to compensate that for, also depending on the lens uh, of the light you let in. So you may have to go from, you know, 
one stop to a couple of stops uh, overexposed just to get proper exposure. It can shoot multiple exposures and I actually tried to shoot one and it didn't work so I don't know if that was just user error which is probably it was but um, and, I, and I wasn't upset so I don't say this out of being upset because I was actually really happy with the rosebush photo that I got but um, I was a little bummed that uh, it didn't necessarily work. It can shoot 220 format uh, but yeah that's all I really have to say about the Mamiya C220. Uh, if you have a question feel free to ask it. I'll do my best to answer it. Uh, I've only had the camera for a month so I don't have a whole extensive list of things that I know about it but uh, if someone's watching that can answer it, feel free to chime in and just kind of answer their questions. Go ahead and comment your favorite photo, like, subscribe, do those other things, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. See ya. When I say